Hey guys, it's Cassie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing my skincare routine slash how I cleared my acne. Right now, I'm wearing makeup and you can see I do have some acne still. This video is not me saying I don't have acne at all. It's all gone. No, I still get the occasional really bad pimple or a couple really small. I haven't had a breakout that bad since I started doing this skincare routine. So... I'm making a couple disclaimers. First of all, my skin's still not perfect. Second, this doesn't happen overnight. You see all these videos of girls saying like, oh, this is how you get clear skin in overnight or in two weeks. No, like this has taken me months and I didn't know if I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, that didn't work for me or this might work for you, but it won't work for these type of types of people. And I totally get it because I've seen so many videos on YouTube. I was in your position at one point searching up videos like, what's going to work for me? No one knows unless you try. I want to briefly explain my skin type. In the winter, dry as hell. Like, patches of skin falling off on my face. In the summer, oily. Literally sweaty, oily, like disgusting. You can see it on my face now. But... I also have really bad acne to go along with that, plus my skin's really sensitive. So, when I started using these products, I started realizing that these are the only products I've ever used that have either not made me break out, not given me an allergic reaction, or have actually worked. Because I've used products, like I have very, very sensitive skin. I've literally had my eyes swell up because of products before. I've had patches of my skin fall off, like literally it's been bad. And I'm going to insert some before pictures of what my skin looked like then. Obviously, it's not perfect, you know. There's some flaws. But I just want to say this... It's not going to happen overnight, but this is the way to get rid of your acne. Like, I swear by these products. It may not work for you, so don't come at me if it doesn't. So the first product I use are these Equate Cleansing and Makeup Removing Towelettes. So I just call them makeup wipes. Um, they have chamomile and vitamin E in them, which is really good for soothing sensitive skin, which I have. So I use this to remove my eye makeup and my face makeup. I do have lash extensions, so I don't actually wear a lot of eye makeup anymore. If I do, it's mascara on my bottom lashes and maybe some eyeshadow, but barely. So, the first thing I do is I just completely take my makeup off using these wipes, and they don't hurt. They're very, very, the right word for me to say is like comforting. like. They just don't hurt you at all. Like they, and this is coming from someone who is like extremely sensitive skin. These are great. They're the Walmart brand wipes, literally so cheap. If you need cheap makeup wipes that last forever, get some of these. <laughs> I do this once a week. This is called the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. So it's basically just a big jar full of powder and you put it in a little container, mix it with water and then you apply it to your face. So this is just what I use. It's so, like it feels so weird. It kind of makes your face itch. So that's why I thought I was having an allergic reaction. But then I read that it says, feel your face pulsate. So it actually is like, you can feel it working. Like this stuff is for acne. And let me tell you, I put this on and the next day I woke up with like beautiful skin. Like I'm not even gonna say that it worked overnight, but I think this one definitely did. I loved it like it was it's so great then i go in with my face wash which i use african black soap i got mine from shea moisture i went to every single store ever trying to find this and they had it nowhere so i ordered it on amazon and yes i did do my research before i bought this um the first thing i have to say is a lot of people buy raw african black soap which is just straight black soap which is really bad for your skin. It can cause tears. It can like really irritate your skin and burn it. So I got the Shea Moisture one because it has shea butter in it, which soothes your skin. So the mixture of the black soap with the shea butter kind of 
um, I guess you could say they kind of balance each other. I think I got a pack of four bars of soap for like $20 and all I do is I just cut them up into little pieces. I rub my hands together and I just wash my face with it. Um, I wouldn't leave it on more than a minute just because you might feel some irritation. Um, but honestly, it's for troubled skin. It is so amazing. It smells so good. And I think that this is a really big part of getting rid of my acne because I've used so many face washes in my life and none of them have worked as good as this does. Um, the only problem with it is that it's kind of hard to use. You have to cut it up and you can't find it anywhere so you have to order it and then, you know, it's just kind of annoying. But it's also cruelty free and organic. So my next step that I do is toner. So I use the Thayer's Natural Remedies Facial Toner Witch Hazel. So it's like a witch hazel with aloe vera in it. Witch hazel is known to get rid of acne. Um, so I just get the original one. There is a rose one, I believe, but too much rose scent irritates my skin. Like anything scented is really bad for me. So I just got the original one and <sighs> this stuff gets rid of all the dirt. Like literally I went like two days without wearing makeup on my face and I wiped my skin and it still got dirt out of my pores. Like it was amazing. I love this stuff. It's witch hazel's known to get rid of acne, so I would use this. I got this off Amazon as well, but I did see it in like Winners. You might find it in like Walmart or something, but honestly, it's really great and you get a lot in the bottle too. For the longest time, I was using a moisturizer that was meant for eczema because my skin was so patchy, um, but I noticed that it made me really greasy. So then I switched to Pons, and let me tell you, I put Pons on my face and I woke up the next morning with a crazy amount of pimples and I will never ever use Pons cream again because of that. So I've been testing new ones as I go and the only one that I've been able to stick to is this guy right here. This was $40, so if you're looking for a cheap moisturizer, um, maybe not this one. They do have it in smaller bottles too. Um, but this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This has been raved about for so long, um, but it's really, really good for dry skin, especially if you get patches of like dry flakes like I do, then I recommend getting this. I know that it's really pricey, but um, it's so worth it. Also, I like to apply it with my jade roller sometimes just because I hate the feeling of face moisturizer on my hands like I don't mind if hand lotions on my hands but it's just different and I don't like it so I will just dip it in and rub it on my face I know this is for like serums and stuff but I personally just like love it and it also helps depuff your face so uh, uh yeah I've been using this with my moisturizer to apply and it's very good very great um that doesn't really have anything to do with like acne, but I do use this moisturizer every day. And finally, the very last thing I use is just this Mario Badescu um, rose water spray. Um, like I said before, rose can really irritate my skin, so I don't use any face masks with rose scents in it. I only use this spray because first of all, it smells really good. Um, and I've noticed that it just kind of makes me glow a little more. So that is all of the products I use for my skin. I have been struggling with acne since I was in the sixth grade, so I was probably about 11. Um, that's when I hit puberty. So I've been having, I had like huge pimples on my forehead. It was never anywhere else. And then once I got into high school, it was my forehead and my cheeks. And now when I get pimples, it's usually just my forehead and my chin, um, but it's cleared up so much and I'm really happy and I'm, I used to be really insecure about it and I used to get bullied for it a lot. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to be posting pictures of my skin the way it looked because let's just be honest, it's really ugly and it's really gross. Um, but. It's the truth. I mean, that's how I cleared my acne and I know that this stuff can cost a lot of money and you might not have access to it, which really sucks, but this is the only stuff that has worked for me and I have, I'm not acne free, but I definitely have been having clearer skin than usual for about a year now. 
since I started using these products. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, if you're struggling with the same things that I go through, get these products. I promise you they work. I'm not just making that up because I know there's so many people out there who will just make things up to get views, but I'm telling you like this is what worked for me and I guarantee you it'll work for you if you try. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment suggestions down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.